working in Director um, back in the early 90s, and it was oftentimes hard to get an engineer to work with you because they didn't take the language seriously or they didn't want to f deal with that because they had what they thought something else that was better, more powerful, et cetera, et cetera. Another early idea of processing was that it could be a, a place where both parties are equally comfortable and uncomfortable. It's, it's, it is Java, so it's a programming language that at that time especially engineers were very fluent with and comfortable with. It looks familiar. Um, but oftentimes they're out of sorts in the visual realm. And then you have designers who are very skilled in the visual realm but are maybe brand new to this way of thinking about, about code and systems. Another major thing with processing was the idea of sketching with code. Please and it, we call that the sketch, we call the, the environment the sketchbook. Um, it's the, the typical way of writing a program is, is you would figure out the problem and then write the code to fit the solution to that problem. Um, it would almost be like you do all the thinking and then the code is really just a mechanical way of, of uh, encoding that thinking. But coming from design and art backgrounds, we think through doing, think through making, we sketch, we look at all the sketches, we evaluate, and then we go back and we make, we make the next iteration, so this idea of iteration. With processing, the idea was to um, build a system so that people could write their own code to do things that were different from what those other programs did, something more specific. Like if you're following an idea um, and you're really pursuing something and then you, that program won't allow you to do that thing, if you can write a program, you can explore it further. It gets around the boundaries, and each of those programs has a set of pretty, pretty firm boundaries. And a lot of programs now can be extended through scripting languages, um, but especially 15 years ago, that was, that was less prevalent. Um, so if you, if you write a piece of code in processing, um, it's basically, it's like word processing in a way. You're, you're typing out your design specifications and your ideas, and then you hit a, a play button to run that and to sort of see the visual result. Um, there's so much software that do so much, I think that it's difficult to imagine something different that it could be doing. For example, if all your social communication is being channeled through something like Facebook or Instagram, how do you really imagine a, a radically different social media platform? where software is doing something entirely unexpected. And I think, um, or if you're using um, Final Cut or Premiere to edit video, they're basically the same. Um, how do you imagine something, a really different way of thinking about taking linear media and combining it in different ways? Going back to processing, because it's a general purpose tool, it really allows people to do almost anything they want with it. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really constrain things, so. Um, I mean, that's actually part of the strategy of it, is that it's so open. You know, we've never released a, a GUI library. There's no official processing checkbox or pull-down menu. And that's largely because we think that um, if you're really going to be doing something specific, you should invent your own interface and do something like very custom to what you're doing. It's allowed other tools to become like really dominant in visualization because they're easy to use. Um, ours is sort of intentionally more difficult to use to force people to make their own decisions about it. Um, ben and I are both very frustrated with how you, how you need to code at this moment and how you needed to code 15 years ago. It's not that we see in any way that this is how we should be doing this as a profession. Um, it can be really frustrating. Um, for example, in some languages and not in other languages, you need to end every line with a semicolon, and if you forget that semicolon, it's just everything's not going to work. Um, and so a lot of time is spent debugging, and a lot of time is spent sort of um, finding these really, what seem like really small errors, but like bring the whole thing down. And so that's not the part of coding that's about thinking, that's, that's the part about implementation that's it's highly, highly imperfect. And when we made processing, the idea was that this is something for the moment. This is not our vision for the future. It's not like um, Alan Kay's lab in the 1970s, sort of like envisioning radical new ways of thinking about thinking. Or it's not like Seymour Papert imagining radical ways of thinking about um, geometry and complex systems. Um, it was sort of like, we need to make these things now. Let's make something better than what we have. But it wasn't really our vision for what it, what it could be. 
you were talking about how important the community for processing is. Like it, it exists as its own tool, as a renderer originally or whatever, but then all of the libraries and all of the tutorials and everything is what actually is the major substance of the, the project, it seems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. I mean, for that project from its onset was half of an engineering project and half of a community initiative. Um, and w as a team with Ben and myself, I think we've kind of over time kind of split, split duties along those lines. Um, but in documentation and in running the forum, um, I think that's our, a difference that the processing had from some other open source projects that it was always uh, a strong commitment to, uh, I would say, nurturing or, or encouraging the community to share work. Um, and so a large part of what, what we were working on with Processing Early was making a set of examples that are extremely, we hope, very clear about how to do something. And then the reference was a major part of the early processing was writing a reference in a way that was different from how most references for programmers are written, to try and stay away from jargon, to start with examples, a few examples, and then get into the description. And so you have this hierarchy of the reference, and then the examples show how to like implement different things from the reference to put them together. And then we've always had the exhibition on the website, which is like more advanced projects. Um, so basically different, different ways for people to get in. So back in, in that time, um, when you would publish a work, you'd export it. It would make a web page and put the Java applet in there. Um, you had like the made with processing little tag, but then inspired by the view source idea, you would be able to, by default, just click a link and see the source code too. And so I think a lot of people learned, learned through that. It also made it easy to search. You could just sort of go to the search bar, type in built with processing and get a huge range of things with that. And then where the community comes in is either in sharing that work um, and seeing what people think about it, like getting feedback about things. If you, if you hit a wall, if you have an issue, you can sort of, sort of announce that and, and in theory people can respond back and help out. I think in, especially in the beginning of processing, the community was relatively small and very generous in time. Like there's a lot of threads where people are working through things or learning something for the first time and somebody with more experience or knowledge can come in and give a little bit of help and that becomes a public record for people who are searching. Um, and wanting to do that again in the future. Um, and then the, the library itself for processing really focuses on making images, making graphics, and making animation, and allows for interaction through you know, really easy ways of hooking into mouse and keyboard and other kinds of interfaces. Um, but you can extend those projects through libraries, and libraries are mostly built by the community. So a library might allow you to utilize sound in your work or export a 3D model for doing CNC work, et cetera, et cetera. And so, like a lot of programming environments, processing has a, a system that allow other people to contribute libraries. And that's what's allowed the, allow it to move away from more of a pure image, pure graphics um, situation into networking and communicating across all different kinds of protocols and allows you to get into to printing and fabrication, et cetera, et cetera. And the libraries are usually made by members of the community who want to build something and then contribute it back with the commitment that they're going to be open sourcing that and maintaining the code. And that's just allowed the project to grow in unexpected and interesting ways.